Hello everybody and welcome to Sable, a game I'm sure nobody was expecting. Okay, I'm not really sure how to go about saying it all concisely, but I have been feeling a bit burnt out on video games in general, oddly enough, and particularly on Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, and a, a little bit on Mass Effect 3, but not really. I think it, that's just due to my general burnout I'm feeling right now. I think it's also just a bit of like, um, there are some things going on in my life that are sort of outside my control that are causing me some stress. I've started work again in the field, which, you know, is always nice, but it's with a new group of people, so it's always kind of a thing to relearn, you know, and then, um... Yeah, no, I think I'm just feeling a bit burnt out on Forbidden West in particular. I, I really hate to admit it, honestly. Um, but the game is just a bit overwhelming for me, and I realize I could just probably book it pell-mell to the end, but I think you guys would know, and I would know, that I'm not particularly enjoying myself, at least at the time. Maybe if I got into it, it would be fine. But... For now, I felt, and after I talked with my sister about it, who gave me some advice that it might be a good idea to try something a little different, something similar to Abzu, which I did a long time ago, something just kind of chill, a short, like, indie game, you know, and I was like, I'm sure I've got some of those, I know I've got some of those, you know, and that kind of made me feel, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a little more interested in this, because, I'll, I don't know, lately it's just been, you know, I think it's kind of seasonal, you know, depression sort of but also for me I'm feeling very boxed in and I'm wanting to go back into the outdoors again living my nomadic life which I haven't really been doing for the past like three months um so I think once I get out and get going again it'll be fine but a part of me just wanted to drop all recording and head out to the desert and just like leave you guys a message on YouTube being like see you in a month but I thought I would try this where I try to record a little bit of something uh, for you, <laughs> um, and hopefully this goes well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish this series for the record. I'm just playing this because, again, I'm feeling a bit burnt out. I kind of, for whatever reason, just feel like people don't enjoy my videos, even though I have, like, quantifiable proof that people do, <laughs> and so I'm just trying to, like, you know, like, I have, you know, people watch my videos, and that's all that matters. People comment on them, and it's great. It's just, you can't really, like, logic yourself out of this kind of thing, you know? So, anyway, I don't think any of that was succinct enough, but Sable is a game that came out a while ago from an indie developer that I've been following on Twitter for a long time, and I'd really, really, really been looking forward to it. The aesthetic, like, the, the style is really beautiful, and it's right up my alley. It's a game about a girl who is wandering through the desert on sort of, like, a futuristic sci-fi you know running through the desert on like a discovery a journey of like self-discovery but it's actually like more of a coming of age ceremony thing and like finding out what her place is in the world all while exploring this vast desert with these ancient ruins and starships that have collapsed you know onto the desert and to me i think partly because i just really want to get back out into the desert and start exploring again this really called to me and so like from my whole list of games that i have that i was that i was looking at um so yeah i i got the game when it first came out and never had a chance to play it so this is my first time getting into it um hopefully if you've made it through this intro or maybe i've edited it or something but um if you've made it through this far i hope you guys enjoy um, again, not sure how long I'll play it. Just wanted to play something that kind of would help get me out of my little lurch that I'm in right now. So let's go. <laughs> Select. I cannot. I don't know what it is. I can't see anything on this screen. I'm really hoping that this is, <laughs> this is not indicative of something going on, but I can't. It's just like white. It's just pure white to me. So <laughs> It's hard to see anything, but I'm excited. I, I remember following this individual for, like, whoever made this game for a really long time and just being really excited about it. Like, look at this. This, like, very, like, oh, what is it? Almost cell shaded look. Very two-dimensional artwork, like, line, like, watercolor almost, like, pen and ink look. That's what I really like about it. Flat color, like, flat shading. I think it's really beautiful, and you all know that I'm a big fan of the desert, so 
not that. Whatever that is. I don't like that. I don't like legs. <laughs> I don't like little legs. <laughs> but also, I have a nice candle going in the background. My sister's cat is keeping me company next to the laptop. I'm in the zone. I'm hoping to get in the zone with this. And I, I, that's all I know. I don't know anything else. This is a journey. It's kind of like Abzu, I think, where like you just kind of go through and you explore the environment. Like for Abzu, I wasn't, there wasn't really like an end goal as far as I could tell. It was just like clicking on things. But for her, we seem to have some sort of thing. It's very character driven, uh, but we seem to have some sort of end goal in mind where we're trying to do our, what do you call it? Our coming of age. Oh good, we get a, a tutorial, awesome. Hang on, sorry, I have to take my watch off because it's not going to work otherwise. Anyway, <laughs> so this is really cool, honestly. Uh, did you, that just wink at me? I don't know if I'm supposed to do So right now I'm just running around. Look at my flingy little arms. Okay, what do you want me to do, game? Oh, nice. No, I'm just I'm just trying to make sure I have like a grasp on the controls. I am using a mouse and keyboard right now. I'm not sure if it's controller compatible. I assume it is. Puzzles? Are we gonna be doing puzzles? I don't even know that much. I don't know if this is like a puzzly thing or what. Just press space to jump. Woo! I assume at the very beginning there's not gonna be a ton to do. Okay, I see. What? Ladder? Dang, I thought I was doing like something cute, like going a different way. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is exactly like where I've been at sort of working, like not exactly obviously, but this beautiful, like the striations in the layering in the rock, like in Southern Utah, I've been working in an area called Red Canyon country. It's stunning. It is stunningly gorgeous. And there's like certain formations that look like this and it's so gorgeous. Ceremony. I should head back to camp. Look at this. Okay, we have an inventory. We can wear different clothes. Oh my gosh. Ibexi. Okay, not the best for climbing. The scratchiness reminds me of home. A ch child's mask. Okay, so we can get different ones eventually. A map that I can fully I just wanted to make sure frame rate no okay I was like let's see I let me see about that <laughs> can we there we go that's much better <laughs> okay there we go oh my gosh and there's also a little hover bike i remember that's one of the big things in like the early like promotional material that the individual who made this game the developer would um post would be like um the little like sand glider or whatever that you're on and just like animating that oh my gosh this is really cute okay This is really beautiful. Like I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but and it looks like I'm from the I'm seeing the shadows move. It's looking like um we get a day night cycle. I thought that was like a machine. There's definitely stuff out there. To go poke. There's that. I like where my head's pointing. I like that the free, it's a very easy free cam. I like that. I saw like a brief thing when I was looking at the Steam page that there's like, you can have dialogue with other characters and stuff too. It's not like Abzu, which was a very meditative experience. This is very character driven. And there's other people. Look at, that's cool. That's super cool. Okay, I will speak out loud, I guess. <laughs> so get ready for that. I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. This is like very, um, I just had like a flashback to like quarians, you know? Mm. Okay. 
I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? I know, I know. I tell Jaddy that I know, but it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and you put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. That sounds cheesy, but honestly, like, I'm kind of tearing up, because, like, I have much younger sisters than me. They are 15 and 18 years younger than me, so they're both teenagers right now. And watching them grow up has been one of the highlights of my life. And I don't know, this is, this is like making me kind of flash over to them, you know, where it's just like, I look at them doing these things now as teenagers that I'm like, I remember when you were like, I could hold you in like two hands, you know? And I'm just like, wow, look at them go. Look at them doing their stuff, becoming their own people. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna get all emotional. <laughs> But Jaddy reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. Uh, I don't change my mind. I'm staying. I think I'm ready. I thank Jaddy for the encouragement, and I tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will, need some, will share something, well, let's say, as useful as it is fun, hmm? I think I might suspect what Jaddy's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. This is also getting, I don't know if this is intentional, um, the cat is playing with my attempt at soundproofing, so I hope that doesn't <laughs> make a noise, but, um, this is giving me Ghibli vibes, specifically, uh, Kiki, um, Kiki's Delivery Service, which is actually one of my favorite movies, not because of Kiki, but because of the mom that you only see very briefly in the beginning. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be her when I grew up. I wanted to be a botany witch. <laughs> I really did. I wanted to make potions, and I did. I started making potions as a kid. It was, I, 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 man, I won't go all into it, but I really loved that. And so this gets that feeling, that vibe, right? Where like, you get your broom, and you're ready to go out on your own journey and find out who you are as a person. And in here, I'm getting my sand bike, and I'm gonna go find out who I am as a person. So, what if I choose the wrong path? I think that's a valid question. I asked Chatty what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. Death. Instant death. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Abexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing, so don't try to use me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you, a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. An artifact, you say. <laughs> I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. A compass to find my way, metaphorically and literally. Hold the button. Oh, okay, this is cool. Having it pop up, I don't, I'm sure there are games that do this, but having it pop up near you is very interesting. I assume that's a calendrical thing. Bottom left, stamina, bottom right, eels, top right. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Oh, and the lighting changes on me. That's cool. I wonder if I can poke anything. In here, I'm, I'm really hoping I can poke some of the plants and stuff. Look at that. The little vase, that's beautiful. The glass vase. I don't know if this is like a... I think there are collectibles. I did read online that this game is about seven and a half hours. Um, just following the main story mostly. About 20 hours if you want to do everything. I'm probably in like 10 to 12 hour kind of range kind of person. Because I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to like find all the secrets but I do love to explore I have been playing Breath of the Wild a bit recently to try to like one of my old saves from years and years ago so trying to remember everything because I was towards the end of it 
and it's been fun to just kind of run around and explore. So that was one of the reasons I decided to do a game like this, where it's like, just gotta go, what is that? There's an eel. You see that over there? There's an eel. Climb, climb, climb. I don't know if I have enough stamina for this. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Oh, maybe I can go, no. Oh, there's no damage. Okay. Hang on, I gotta go, I gotta go poke the eel thing. Oh, hey, what's, who are you? I am not gonna do anything relating to the main mission. How is it that Saima manages to contain so much chaos and verve in so small a form? Even now, there is something troublesome being dreamed up behind that mask. I know it. Eh? What's this, beetle? Oh, come on. Oh, ooh, something? The dye bottle for the colors of the Abixi red bike. Okay. Look at the ancient artifacts. I don't know what they are, but they're awesome. They're cool. I love like popping into a world and just like seeing the world building and like being like, I don't know what any of it is. And maybe I won't know what any of it is, but just knowing that it's this like ancient, like ancient civilization and it's just like really cool. I think it's very neat. Who are you? What is this? Oops, that's not what I, I can help. I can help. I can't jump. <laughs> I jump very high. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Okay, bye bye. I don't know what use the bucket would be. I have the urge to break all these crates again because I've been playing, um, Breath of the Wild. I'm like, crates, you gotta break them. No, that's not, that's not how we do in this one. And I think, um, the bike guy is over here. Yes. Since I'm being distracted, I might as well at least do something related to the main quest while I'm over here. told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Stable, er, hello. I, I bet you he hasn't done anything on it. Uh, hello. How I'll be polite. How are you today? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there a moment, but I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spell out. I asked Driss if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe have a bike for me. Your bike. He yells it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike, yes, of course, right. Yes, your bike that I was meant to, that I prepared for you because today is your... Did you forget? An abject horror, I gently ask if he may have forgotten. What? Well, I would never. It's obviously I have your bike. By which I mean I arranged it for you in a, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Oh, thank you. A tutorial? It's not here? Not exactly, but that's because this is part of your gliding. You're making this up. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. This man did not get me my real bike. I'm gonna, this, this thing over here is that was wiggling over in the corner. I think about it, and I find I've never heard that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. A test. How will you ever ride your own bike if you haven't tested your riding skills? Come on, Sable, it's part of it. He laughs weakly. It's not convincing. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Ah. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. I read that out loud when I didn't need to. Whoa, okay. Okay, okay. I was trying to move. Oh my gosh, my glider. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Strafe. Oh, I wasn't looking. Get off his E. Oh, that's the wrong button. I can't spell. 
Or I can't read? I can't. I'm, not, I'm illiterate, actually. That's what it is. I'm good. This is actually a little hard. <laughs> to make the precise turns. Can I go backwards? Or is it just slow down? I think it should slow down. Ooh, nighttime. Oh, I should definitely go up there. Assassin's Creed style. I almost killed a man. <laughs> I returned to Driss, who somehow managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by, hello? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Halal's got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that, er, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for hello. Oh my gosh. I'm actually a little sad now if this is... <laughs> I really did want... I wanted a cool bike to go around, and I'm pretty sure the one I've seen is red. But maybe I just have to take the red paint that I just found and slap it on that sand cutter. And then we'll be fine. Maybe. What's... Ooh. Are you a robot? <gasps> a post box. Hello, unread messages. Have a good day. Okay. That's good to know, though. That that's a thing. Also, I'm gonna go poke this eel immediately. Maybe I should talk to this person first. And maybe they'll tell me about the eels. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this! Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Um, I didn't bring anything for you! Hilal gives a tinkling laugh. Oh, Sable, you can make up for it when you return someday. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Fuzziness. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. The temple ruins. I think I saw those. Hello claps their hands twice and bobs twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. All right, you didn't tell me about the eels, so now I have to go jump on this eel over here and hope I make it. Okay, come on. I can at least try. Okay. Eel. A uh, what now? <laughs> uh, what? That was very spooky. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. <laughs> a perfectly normal thing. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. They must. There must be a good place to deliver these. I have an eel. How exciting! Okay, the temple, I was not paying attention. Temple ruins over, over there, over there. Mm -hmm. I do, I do want to do that. I do, but first, I want to look up here and see what's going on up here. What? Did these? Oh, that was the post box, I think. I am very floaty. There is also a person down there I need to go bother. What? Oh my gosh, there's a person over there. I think they're, like, doing falconeering work.
Oh, money. That's money. Okay. I like money. Cizo looks busy. I should leave her to it. Wow. You just rotated. That was amazing. Is that the compass? This is an excellent vantage point. Do I take fall damage? Now would be a good time to test that. It doesn't appear that I do. That's nice. At least so far. Maybe not in the town. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That Eloria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Elaria. D does she need help? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. <laughs> I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. <laughs> oh, that was really adorable. It's funny to play a game with younger... Like, to be a younger like teenager person and I definitely feel like I'm getting to the age where like I empathize, empathize, empathize with um, the adult characters like obviously I can empathize with her too because it's like oh yes I remember <laughs> you know being young and youthful but uh, it's just funny you get it in books and movies and stuff where you're like sometimes you're like man that kid's so dumb the parent totally makes sense whereas as a, as a kid you would have been like no I don't want to do that Obviously, the kid's in the right, you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, um, I guess I'll go ahead and call this one here. I think when we next go out, we need to go to the temple. Um, so that's going to be cool, <laughs> I hope. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I appreciate the brief, uh, what is it, like, uh, segue, sort of, <laughs> into unknown territory. Um, just kind of hoping to get a little bit of that spark while I take a tiny bit of a break from Horizon Forbidden West, which I should have mentioned at the beginning, but I am planning on going back and finishing it, obviously. Just need a little bit of a break right now, I think, and I just need to get back into the wilderness, and that'll, I think, give me a bit of time to recenter myself <laughs> and be reinvigorated. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for, for watching this. I appreciate you jumping in and just seeing what I'm doing. So, uh, but really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Riscolito, my sapling tier patron, and to Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I appreciate it. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate. And once again, I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one.